hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video today i will show you how to install kali net hunter rootless on your android mobile phone okay so let's get back to the video so open any browser and search for termux termix apk so the reason you need to go in the browser because this app is not available on play store so you need to download it from another play store which most of the hackers use nowadays so it is called as fdroid okay let me reduce the brightness yeah so fdroid so when you search for termix apk you will get this link which is called as fdroid so open the link now you will see uh, the max is available for download here so first we need to download the fdroid apk it's like a app store or play store so if you scroll down a little bit you will see download fdroid option and it's getting downloaded okay so settings it will ask you for some settings permissions so allow from this source here and then install it will take little bit time okay done open allow all the permissions uh, it take time for updating the repositories uh, let's see if we can search anything yeah this app will take little bit time to update the repositories okay okay let's search here for termux termix sometimes it might give you problem until the repositories are updated yeah see the apps are now loading so it does take time it's not as good as the app store but let's see okay so there are a lot of applications with name of termix so what we will be looking for is okay this termix terminal emulator okay yeah this is exactly the one that we will be downloading so just click on install yeah it's 101 mb need to wait for it to download it okay again it's asking for some settings so yeah allow from this source install and looks like it should be done yep and termix is installed so you need to allow all the permissions for the termix okay now the most important command that we will be first uh, running on this will be setup command for termix so that it gets all the storage permissions so it's a simple command let me zoom in a little bit for you it would be termux termix hyphen setup 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 hyphen storage s t o r a g e storage and then enter <coughs> So now this is asking for all the storage permissions so just allow it and we are done with that so let's clear the screen and let's zoom in a little bit more so to install net hunter we need to go to the official documentations from the uh, official kali linux website so just search for kali net hunter rootless and you should be yeah so the first link is the official one on the kali linux website okay you just need to scroll down scroll down scroll down and you see that there are the prerequisites you need to be on an android device okay uh it's good if it's rooted phone if not rooted then also it's fine so these are the command for the installation so termix setup storage this we first executed now we will do okay pkg install wget so let's go back to the termix pkg install wget and enter okay it's getting downloaded 
let's wait yeah it might take a little while as it's downloading the packages from the repositories okay yeah it will ask you for permissions click on capital y enter okay it's installed clear now let's get back to the another command which is wget hyphen capital o and then there is the link of the repository so let's just simply copy it from here to make it easy okay okay copy go to the terminal long press here and paste and then enter okay ls ls to see what's getting downloaded so if we do ls it will show you the downloaded repositories or anything that you download using wget or anything else let me clear the screen okay ls so see now we have installed net hunter termx uh, installed so let's get back to the another command <coughs> Okay, it's a chmod command, so we will give permissions to this setup file. So let's copy this, go back to our termx, long press, and then paste, enter, ls. So now that we have given it the permission to execute, it's turned into green color from white color. So that means now it's executable. So let's get back to the documentation. Okay, now it's a simple command. It's dot hyphen sorry dot forward slash and then the command for the executable let's copy that go back to the term x and paste it enter okay <clears throat> so it is asking you for some permissions what version we need to download so let me minimize this yeah you see this is the official kali linux repo so we have three options here install net hunter arm64 install net hunter arm64 minimal then nano so it will be according to your phone if you have a lot of storage on your phone you can go with the full uh, if you have uh, less storage you can go with the nano you can go for minimal as well that's de totally dependent on your choice so i'll go with the two uh, i'm just making this video for a demo so enter two enter whatever option you want to choose and then enter <coughs> okay now it will download all the repositories and that all so let's wait until it's getting downloaded this might take a little while so again it's asking for permissions so default is n so we will go with all the default permissions so n just hit enter and it will go with the default permissions So during this setup it might ask for multiple permissions uh, as you can see it's uh, getting downloaded all the resources okay uh, it's getting extracted now okay let's wait until it's getting extracted Uh, this might take a while so i will pause the video from here once this is extracted i will continue the video okay 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 what a timing okay delete download root fs file so if you see anything in capital that means that is the required permission so just keep on capital n and then hit enter okay okay so net hunter kali linux is successfully installed okay so this is exactly what we would have done for the setup so to start the kali net hunter type net hunter so let's do that n e t h u n t e r okay 
and here we are with our net hunter so as you can see we have successfully installed kali net hunter on our android phone let's see seo Yeah. So since this is a rootless version, you can't get the root access on your Kali Net Hunter. But most of the applications you can run without even root. Yeah. So that's all for this video. Uh, I'll be soon making another video how you can use the GUI version of Kali uh, Net Hunter rootless on your Android phone. So it's just a setup after this. So this is the part one. I'll be soon dropping the part two. So. Make sure you join my telegram channel i can support you there if you are missing with any of the commands and if you are facing difficulties so all the links are given in the description you can connect with me on my instagram and telegram channel uh, okay and make sure to like and subscribe thanks